Welcome to Art History with Jackie. Today we will be talking about Georges Seurat. Seurat is known as a neo-impressionist painter and is specifically celebrated as the creator of pointillism. Seurat was born in 1859 in Paris, France. He first studied art at the École Municipale de Sculpture et Dessin and then moved on to the École des Beaux-Arts. There, he learned by copying and learning from old master paintings and sculptures. After art school, Seurat went into the military for a year. He then moved back to Paris, where he worked as an artist, mostly working in monochrome drawing. This means drawing using only one color. It's funny that this is how he started, because he soon became known for his creative manipulation of color. As a neo-impressionist, Seurat moved away from the spontaneity of impressionism in favor of a more precise painting technique that was grounded in science and optics. He began to use a technique called pointillism. Pointillism is a technique of painting in which small, distinct dots of color are applied in patterns to form an image. The term was coined by art critics at first to ridicule the artistic style, but it is now used as an art historical reference term. The technique relies on the ability of the eye and mind of the viewer to blend the color spots into different tones. Artists that used this technique believed that these separate touches of color resulted in greater vibrancy to the viewer's eye. Seurat spent most of 1883 working on his first major painting, titled Bathers at Anières. This was a very large work showing young men relaxing by the River Seine in a working-class suburb of Paris. This painting was inspired by the light and color usage of Impressionism, but its smooth, simplified textures and clearly outlined figures showed the influences of his classical artistic training. This work was rejected by the Paris Salon, which inspired Seurat to start his own group of, for artists, named the Société des Artistes Indépendants. In 1884, Seurat began to work on a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte. This is by far his most famous painting, and it is currently housed at the Art Institute of Chicago. This painting shows members of each of Paris's social classes participating in various activities at the park. Seurat used his signature tiny dots to create this painting. These tiny dots were organized in such a way that the viewer's eye blends the colors itself, even though they are actually not technically blended. It took Seurat two years to complete this 10-foot wide painting. He spent a great deal of time in the park sketching the various figures in preparation for the work. He took his pointillist techniques so far as to create a frame around the image with a series of his tiny colored dots. Seurat lived in Paris for most of his life. He spent his later years in a quiet studio with his model partner, Madeleine Knobloch. He only introduced his young family to his parents two days before he died. His last work, The Circus, was left unfinished at the time of his death. Learn more about Neo-Impressionism on the Met Museum website. And learn more about Sunday on La Grande Jatte at the Art Institute of Chicago's website. If you want to try Seurat's technique, try painting a picture using tiny dots of color to create your forms. You can use a paintbrush, or you can use the eraser side of a pencil to create dots that are precise. If you do, don't forget to tag us on Instagram, Facebook, or send me an email. Thanks, and see you next week.